In the name of God, our Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. Amen. Lent is a time when we are reminded of two things. God is God, and we are not. Thanks be to God. The grace, mercy, and peace of God and of Christ Jesus, our Savior, be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and contrite hearts so that when we turn to you and confess our sins, we may receive your full and perfect forgiveness through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us hear these words from the prophet Isaiah, who was speaking to ancient people who took pride in faithful observance of the forms of religion. Instead of that, God says to them, and I suspect to us, is not this the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and God will say, Here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong, and you shall be like a watered garden like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to live in. This is the reading of God's word. Thank you. 
Let us also hear what Jesus had to say in Matthew chapter 6 about true piety versus the outward show of it. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let the left hand know what the right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes, where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear people of God, the first Christians observed with great devotion the days of our Lord's passion and resurrection, and be it became the custom of the church to prepare for them by a season of penitence and fasting. So I invite you in the name of the church to follow the prophet's call to rend your hearts and not your garments, and observe a holy Lent by undertaking the sort of fast Isaiah described. So to make a right beginning of repentance, and as a mark of our mortal nature, let us kneel in our hearts before God, our Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. It has been our tradition to make ashes each year from the palms of the previous year. The intention is to show that we are dust, to remind us that it is by God's grace we live, and to inspire us to seek the kind of lives God desires for us. My friends, repent and believe the gospel. God, who is gracious and merciful, does not desire the death of sinners, but rather that they should turn from their sinful ways and live. Please join me in prayer with the response, Lord, hear our prayer after each petition. Let us pray that we may truly accept the reconciliation and new life that God offers to each of us. Lord, hear our prayer. In God's mercy is our hope. Let us pray that we may learn to receive mercy and to extend it to others. Lord, hear our prayer. Change is the one constant in our lives, but not all change is progress. Let us pray that we may encourage the changes in ourselves and in our communities that will bring us closer to God's vision of shalom. Lord, hear our prayer. Whether for good or ill, it is often through those who bear the name of Christ that others form their opinion of God. 
let us pray that we may be a living sign of God's love. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let us join in the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. In the face of Christ, we see God's love. In knowing that you are loved and forgiven, may you find in your heart the peace of Christ, and in that peace find strength to go forth, carrying with you the love of God for all. Amen. <laughs> 